Hi, so when I'm talking to you like this, sometimes I talk about very big things like um, politics or big life change. But today, let's talk about something that's a bit smaller, as in both figuratively and literally. Namely, I've got some new headphones to replace those crappy old earbuds that always had one size failing. And I'm going to have a look at it with you, as well as some other things that I use to listen to music or have some other form of entertainment with me on the go. And just by sheer luck, I have the inner plastic box that this uh, came in. But I got rid of the outer shell from cardboard when I cleaned this up. Uh, okay, anyway, it came in box, and here are the headphones, the Mono headphones. These are perhaps the only pair of headphones that Mono buys and just to be clear I'm not sponsored by Mango or any of the other companies that are mentioned in this video. I bought this out of my own will literally the day that my earbuds uh, stopped working. And it came with this nice spiral cord and a pair of these screw-on uh, 63 millimeter um, or quarter inch jack adapters to 3.5 millimeter or eighth inch jack. Um, they screw on like this, or I can use this plug directly. Um, and the headphones themselves also have one really nice thing this is the uh, 63 millimeter jack, looks right in. But the other earpiece. There is a 3.5mm jack, which allows me to use custom cables. This is also a nice little bit of future proofing. In case any of the cables I use currently break down, I can easily find a replacement rather than having to replace the whole thing. These headphones have a pretty nice build quality to them. The uh, headpiece is flexible so that it can fit most sizes of heads. The earpieces have a nice cushioning on them. It's not like what you would expect for a thousand euro unit, but I only paid 60 for this about. Um, not in total, I just for the headphones. There is the adjustable um, mount for the headpieces. It's just slide out. Again, to see multiple um, positions of the ear in relation to the top of the head and yeah these are actually fold in as well so I can easily carry it in a backpack and in fact my specific backpack has this uh, little strap over here where I can put on the headphones once they're folded in and they just click in place like this and they fit pretty much perfectly in the bag once I fold them in like this and of course the fact that I can use custom cables really helps with the portability there is not much to dislike about these. Uh, the audio quality I can't really demonstrate to you because one, I had to use copyright free music and I don't have any copyright free CDs here so I can't write with every medium possible. And two, you're probably going to be listening to this on very cheap uh, audio equipment. Maybe you do have those crappy earbuds uh, or uh, really cheap speakers. I don't know your audio system. You're going to be listening to yours. I'm going to be listening to mine right here Or of course maybe not right here and that's where the contents of this little belly bag come in And so let's have a look at what's inside of this little bag The first thing we find is this old audio cable I've got like years ago to um Initially to replace an old audio cable where it came with a Bluetooth speaker that broke down. But nowadays I use it for two things. One is to record music from my keyboard or maybe other instruments uh, to my audio interface over there. So just put right in there, like so. And the other is in combination with these headphones and one of the devices that I can use for portable entertainment, one of which is this nice portable CD player, also known as a Discman or CD Walkman if these were made by Sony. I don't really look at the branding or even the quality of anything, I just picked the first thing that I saw um, that could play CDs in a relatively small form factor and 
that had an electronic shock protection so that it can be uh, shook or bumped or anything like that and it doesn't as long as it's not severe enough it doesn't really cause any problems with playback and of course the CD fits in there like so uh, one little thing to note is that this does require batteries unlike more recent variants of this device that can also play DVDs so those typically have a rechargeable battery this one requires a pair of double A's or an external power supply that I've laid here in case I want to use this at home for example if I haven't finished the CD on the go I could just stop it remember the track number from this display here and jump to that track number when I come home after plugging this power in and this little audio cable that connects to my switch box so that I can listen to music at home like that the other thing in here the last one is this Nintendo 3DS, of course, fairly normal game console. Uh, it was very popular at one time, and apparently Nintendo is still maintaining the 3DS, 2DS uh, architecture slash console lineup. They don't make new games for it, I think, but they do sell old 3DS games and make a new uh, type of console for it. But this is actually a Nintendo DS game that I like to play a lot, which is contains a lot of puzzles and of course I also have two more cards like this. One of these is a DS uh, game called The Battle of Prince of Persia um, and the other is a 3DS game, uh, Star Wars Beyond Gotham. This one and The Battle of Prince of Persia card I've got from a local flea market on Kingsay over in Utrecht and the other one I've actually got as a gift one day perhaps. Of course a little bag I found there as well uh, as this um, CD folder which allows me to hold way more CD than the small cupboard that I used to use for that ever could. And a lot of CDs I've actually got at that flea market as well or on the smaller flea market in Utrecht on May 5th. Yes, there is a neighbourhood that holds a small little flea market on May 5th as to uh, celebrate Liberation Day. And yeah, I rotate those CDs uh, for playback on the go. I've always got one in the player ready to play and one in a small jaw case that looks like this uh, to swap out with the other one once it finishes and yeah that's how I play CDs on the go just using this little player I can keep one CD safe in it and when I have a long trip to, uh, to carry out in which I know I don't have Wi-Fi or it may be a bit spotty um, I can carry a spare with me and of course I have the 3DS going to play as well and everything works just fine with these headphones um, because like the old earbuds they are what's called low ohmic which means that their input can be driven by pretty much anything that is um, beyond the standard line level and of course the input being swappable I don't use this spiral cord on the go by the way I use that other cable um, I just use this at home because it allows for a little bit more stretch so when I want to grab something from behind I don't have to put off my headphones I can just use this and that plugs right into the headphone output on this switch box over here um, which can then switch between my computer my Raspberry Pi or this little cable here that can plug into my CD player uh, the computer input actually has a hidden second selector here. This isn't so well hidden on camera, of course. Uh, but this allows me to select for my audio interface, which computer is plugged into my main PC or an externally connected iPad here. Uh, it does the same thing to my mouse, actually, so I can use my mouse once again on the iPad when I want to use something like GarageBand. That can be quite handy, but that's getting off the point. Um, overall, my audio equipment at the moment, it's 
pretty uh, great. I have Spotify, of course, on my smartphone, which is one of the last time I have iPhone jack. Uh, CDs, I've got a lot of those, and I think they're never going to die. In fact, they never died. They never gained a research. They just stayed popular because there are always going to be people um, like me who are a bit sceptical about the... Uh, streaming services longevity, especially in this age of the streaming wars in movies. Um, some people, myself included, might be a bit worried that the uh, same thing is happening to music, but CDs, you always have those. Um, same thing is true for cassettes and vinyl records, but I don't have any room for like a big tape deck or a box of um, vinyl records here. So, one last little thing related to portable audio before I'm gonna. Uh, stop talking about it for the moment. This does inherit one of the qualities of cassettes. You can buy recordable CDs and a little CD drive that plugs into the computer like this. I've actually got that one for free with the main computer and this one for free with my uh, from Mami. Uh, this CDR I can burn whatever I want to on whether it's going to be audio CDs uh, or MP3. This thing can play MP3 as well. Or any other kind of data. That was actually a big thing in the 2000s. Back then, um, CDs were your best bet when it came to price, storage, size ratio for making backups or taking files with you on the go. Uh, so, after a little bit of rambling about that, i see you next time. Bye bye! If you've enjoyed this video, if you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.